what if I were to tell you that I am the very, very best gift, the very best gift that you will ever, ever have? What would your response be? You? What? Girl, you tripping. Nah, you got to be bugging. You just cray cray, Miss Sylvia. I don't think so. Girl, bye. Bye, Felicia. That was so rude. Rude, maybe, but right? Yes, I am not the best gift you will ever have. John 3.16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall have eternal life. The best gift you will ever have, eternal life. The Bible goes on to say in Ephesians 4.7, that Christ gave each of us a special gift. Ephesians 4.12 says, Christ gave these gifts to prepare God's holy people for the work of serving, to make the body of Christ stronger. So, question, have you opened your gift? Do you know what's inside? What do you do when you get a gift? Do you ignore it? Do you just sit and stare at it? Or do you rip it open to see what's in it? Okay, let me just tell you this. God wants you to know what your gift is. He wants you to know why you have it. And he wants you to use it to make the house stronger. So what exactly is a spiritual gift? Spiritual gift is a special gift given to us by God to be used in the construction, in the building of God's house. So I want to share this story with you from the Old Testament. It kind of talks about gifts. So there's these two Old Testament dudes, Bezalel and a holy hip. Their story is in Exodus 31. God had given Moses instructions for building the tabernacle. He had given him specific instructions. And he told Moses exactly what the tabernacle should look like, exactly how it should be built. He told Moses the people will have gifts that they will offer. And indeed, they did. They offered gifts so much so that Moses had to say, whoa, 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 okay, cool, cool, stop, we got enough. But then Moses says, okay, God, we got these gifts, but where are the craftsmen? Who's going who's gonna to build this house? And God says, I have craftsmen for you as well, people with special gifts for crafts, Bezalel and Aholiab. Exodus 31, 2 through 6, check it out. Then the Lord said to Moses, I have chosen a man from the tribe of Judah to do some special work for me. His name is Bezalel, son of Uri, son of Hur. I have filled Bezalel with the spirit of God. I have given him the skill and knowledge to do all kinds of things. He is a very good designer and he can make things from gold silver, and bronze. He can cut and set beautiful jewels. And he can work with wood. He can do all kinds of work. I have also chosen Oholiab to work with him. Oholiab is the son of Ahismach from the tribe of Dan. And I have given skills to all the other workers so that they can make everything that I have commanded you. I have given skills. I have given gifts so that they can make everything I've commanded them to make, Moses. Fast forward that 
to today, 2020. God is building his house. God is building a spiritual house. And do you not know that your body is the temple of God? We talked about that once before. Your body is the temple of God and God is building his temple. He has given you gifts. He has given you special skills and abilities, just like uh, Bezalel, just like uh, Aholiab. He has given you certain gifts for the building of his spiritual house in the earth. He has given you spiritual gifts. What are these gifts that God has given us? Check out your Bible. You can find a list of these gifts in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, in Romans chapter 12, and in Ephesians chapter 4, verses 11 and 12. You'll see gifts like serving, giving, mercy, prophecy, knowledge, wisdom, teaching, uh, faith, exhortation, healing, administration. The list goes on and on. Check it out. Look in your Bible. Look at those, those chapters and find out, hey, what gift or gifts did he give you? How does he want you to use your gifts? Are you willing to be generous in using the gifts God has given you to build the house? Or are you ignoring the gift? If someone gave you a gift, you wouldn't just throw it in the trash can, would you? So don't throw God's gift away. Unwrap it. Check it out. See what it is. The sooner you start discovering what your gift or gifts are, the sooner you can start serving. And the sooner you start serving, the sooner you can make sure of what that gift is. Or make sure of what God has called you into and make sure you are walking in that purpose and building the building God intended to be built. Check out the link in the description of this video. Go to the site, take the assessment, see what gifts God has blessed you with for the building of his house. Now, the assessment is just to get you started. So make sure you get started. Once you get started, you look at those gifts, you discover what gifts you think God has blessed you with, then we'll get you serving. And in serving, then you'll be better able to see exactly what gifts God has blessed you with. Spiritual gifts. Thank God for the gifts. Let's put those gifts to work in the building of God's house.